during the Zen discourses on 27th February, we the sannyasins collectively decided to call Bhagwan Osho and he agreed to it. So from that day onwards, he dropped his previous names and he was called Osho after that. He continued to give discourses till 10th April. 10th April, he gave his last discourses. Last discourse, and the last word he said in this discourse is Samma Sati. That is kind of message for sannyasins. Samma Sati means right remembering. Remember yourself, who you are. Again, he discontinued coming because of his ill health. Announcements were made that Osho won't be coming, he won't be speaking. And then on 23rd May, he started silent satsang. In the white robe, we all used to get together in the Buddha hall and Osho will come and he will namaste everyone and sit in his chair and music uh, was played all the time. In between silence and the music, it was like heart-to-heart -heart communion with the master. No words were used and after uh, maybe 15 minutes, he used to get up and he will namaste everybody again. And there will be celebration music when he leaves. We all celebrated his presence with us. And after his leaving, video discourse was played and everybody was uh, asked to keep sitting and we were watching after satsang, which shows video discourse. So it continued. It continued for nearly six months, maybe, from May to, I will say, January, till he left his body. On 16 January, I went to Bombay with uh, some ashram work only. Few friends came with me. We have to sign some documents there in registrar's office. So that was 16 January. And uh, 16 January evening, our work did, did not happen on that day. And we were told that we have to come again. Uh, we were given the another date. In the evening, I went to the center in Bombay in car, and my friends there, sannyasin friends told me, you have to come again in three, four days. So why don't you stay in Bombay these three, four days? And I said, no, I have to go back. Uh, I, I had the feeling like, Osho is not well, and uh, we don't know he may leave the body anytime. So I decided I want to go back. 17, I was in Bombay, and uh, I called the commune to inquire, and I was told that Osho came today on 17, and he did namaste for a long time like moving very slowly and looking at everybody in the hall. And he didn't sit there. He just namaste and walked out. And that namaste, we have a video which is called Last Namaste. He looks very fragile and weak. Slowly he's walking and doing namaste. So I really missed that last namaste. I came to Pune back on 18th morning. And uh, 
there was an announcement uh, that Osho won't be coming today, he's not well. And normally it used to be like that. If he's not coming means he will not come for a few more days also. There was quite a long periods like that in between. So on 19th again, many of the friends working in the ashram, uh, they just imagined Osho didn't come uh, yesterday, so he won't be coming today also. So many sannyasin just went here and there outside the commune to have dinner somewhere with the friends or to meet somebody. And the morning shift people in the kitchen also, after morning shift, they went away uh, feeling that there won't be, Osho won't be coming today. That was 19th January. Uh, I was getting ready for white robe. Uh, I was ironing my robe. And Ma, Ma Neelam came to the Mataji. My room was uh, attached with the Mataji's room. There was a door in between. So Neelam opened this door and asked me, where is Mataji? Mataji has gone to the bathroom. She had an ba attached bathroom in her room. So I looked at the Neelam and I saw tears in her eyes. So I just got up, I turned off my iron and I said, well, what happened? Why are you are crying? And she came back in Mataji's room and sat there and started crying. And she told me that Osho has left the body. It was about five o'clock in the evening. And Mataji also came out of the bathroom and uh, she looked at both of us and she says, what's happening, what's happening? And I told Mataji, Osho is gone. She said, where he's gone, where he's gone? And I said, he left the body and she also started crying. And uh, we just closed the door so the noise doesn't go out because there was no announcement about it. Announcement happened in Buddha Hall only. All the sannyasins gathered there for white robe at 6.30. Very few people knew that Osho has left the body. And uh, after 6.30, uh, Dr. Amrito came in the hall and he made this announcement there that Osho has left the body and he gave some instructions that he has said, take my body in the hall for 10 minutes and take me to the burning gods and celebrate my death. And there were a few more instructions. In between, Mataji was taken to his room to see his body. I took Mataji there, but I was not allowed and only Mataji went in and she came out very much crying and she was like out of control at that time. So I also went into the hall. I couldn't control my tears. Uh, silent tears were there. And Osho's body was brought there. And music was going on and sannyasin singing and dancing. And in 10 minutes, his body was taken to the burning gods. Uh, where I used to sit, it was near the podium. There was an entrance from where I used to bring Mataji inside the hall. So I thought if I follow the procession to go to the burning gods, I will be the last one to go out from here. So I decided with a sannyasin friend, uh, let's go from the back gate of the commune and we go straight to burning gods. So both of us just walked to the burning gods and this whole procession took quite a time to reach there. We reached there early. And as we reached at the burning gods, a tempo came there uh, with uh, big logs of the wood. 
So Sanyasin was there and looking at us, he said, come, come, help us. Let us uh, download this uh, logs and we have to prepare for the funeral pyre. So we also helped in it. When Osho's body was brought there, I was right there where his body was kept for burning. And there was a lot of singing and dancing going on. I was just silently standing there and uh, watching this uh, fire. I felt like the white swan has flown into the sky without leaving any footprints behind. Um, by three o'clock, I came back to the commune and uh, I remember I just fell down on my bed and uh, in a way I went in deep sleep for a couple of hours. Again, five o'clock I woke up and from the baggage I went out. Uh, the Lao Tzu house side, I started walking. There was such a deep silence everywhere. And uh, even the trees and birds, nothing was moving. Everything was like standstill. I can see myself, my mind was also not working. I just had a little walk there and sat there came back in my room. And after one day on 21st, shows ashes were brought to the commune. Again, the big celebration was there. This uh, kind of thing where they put the bones in, uh, it was kept as instructed by him under his bed. And then everybody was allowed there. They can go and sit there and meditate there. And like that, uh, our morning meditation was every day to go. It was called Osho Samadhi. Uh, I used to take Mataji every day there and from 7.30 to 8.30, we will sit there in silence. There were more sessions in Samadhi also. After Osho left the body for two, three days, Mataji really cried and cried. And uh, as we have understood that if someone is crying, don't console the person, let him cry and let him release his grief or whatever it is. And after that, she went in deep silence. And she told me, you cannot understand my pain. You lost your master, but I have lost three persons. My son is gone, my master is gone. And then he gave me the new birth also. I was like his child, so three people are gone from my life. But after Osho left the body, Mataji really continued meditating a lot. She was no more interested in outside things anymore.